afternoon. <laughs> I'm Frank Stella, and we're in my studio in Newburgh, New York. I mean, that piece there is in the middle of the 80s, and then this stuff happens after that, and it's completely hidden, but there's a huge painting behind there. And then this stuff starts to happen in the 90s, and then this gets to the 2000s. But some of these things are like, it's, I guess it's a three-dimensional painting or something like that. It has a front and a back and two sides. And then, as you can see, after a while, it got out of hand. Some pieces are sold for millions of dollars, but I didn't get any, any resale rights. We didn't do very well uh, over the years, and we tried pretty hard to get the artists right for resale payments. And that hasn't really happened here, but it's actually a fact in Europe. Dealers don't want to do it, the auction houses don't want to do it. Except, I don't know, in Europe they do it. Now look, you, you do it. There's a uh, NFT. There's one. You could get this and probably that, I don't know. But then would you make that? There it is again, enlarged. So th those are things that are available from uh, the digital. What happens is we, we build models uh, and we, we have geometry and then we make some models and then we change that uh, or that geometry comes is, is changed into something else and the geometry is actually unfinished they could either sell the geometry as it is or they own it they could develop more It'd be interesting if they could make it better <laughs> i can't i'm not a guru or something i don't know how it's gonna turn out it'll happen if that's what people want